I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on area of triangle. Let us understand what this real question is. Triangle ABC is isosceles with AB equals to AC and BC equals to 65. P is a point on BC such that the perpendicular distance from P to AB and AC are 24 centimeter and 36 centimeter respectively. Find the area of triangle ABC. Now we are given triangle ABC right there where point P is this point on BC length of BC is 65. We know ABC is an isosceles triangle where AB is equal to AC. So this equal is for A B, not AD. Okay. From P, if you draw perpendicular on AC, then you get point E, which is 36 centimeters away, and D and P are 24 centimeters away. You need to find area of triangle ABC. Now, this is a thinking question. You can pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestion. Now, let me solve this question in the limited space which I always have. Now, we can actually go about in many different ways, but I'll use a couple of principles here. We'll begin with similar triangles. So if you consider the triangle PDB, let me write down here, triangle PDB and triangle PEC, triangle PEC, what do you notice? Now, in these two triangles, as you can see, 90 degrees and 90 degrees. Isosceles triangles, so these two angles are equal. So, because of AA, right, these two triangles are similar. So, these two triangles are similar. So, we have two similar triangles. Now, once these triangles are similar, then their corresponding sides are in fixed ratio, correct? Right? So, what we can get here is, we get, get equation relating DP over EP, right? those two distances equals to the side opposite DP which is let us say BP right let me call this as X so if I have the side as X then the other side will be 65 minus X okay so what we have this as X over that is basically I want to write PB divided by PC, correct? So that is the side ratios are equal, right? So X over 65 minus X. Now we are given what is DP and what is PE. So we can write their values, which is 24 over 36. So we have 24 over 36 as this particular ratio. Now that helps to find the value of X in this and so we can break this apart into two lengths so that is how it is very beneficial now let's solve this we'll cross multiply and solve so we get 36 x equals to 24 times 65 minus x so we have 36 x equals to let us use the calculator 24 times 65 gives us 1560 minus 24x so we'll bring it together so we have 36x plus 24x equals to 1560 and when you add them 0 and 60x equals to 1560 or x is equals to 1560 divided by 60 right so that gives us let's find this value 1560 divided by 60 is equals to 26 so we get value of x as 26. Okay, so we got some value from here. That is x is 26 for us, this side. So the other side will be 65 minus 26, that is 39. So this side is 39. When you add them up, you get 65. Okay, so we got the value of x. Now how will that help? That will really help us to find the angle, correct? Now, if you consider this small triangle, 
then in that case this is a right triangle we know BP is 26 and we also know that DP is 24 correct so with reference to angle B if you see then in this right triangle opposite side is 24 and hypotenuse is 26 so we should use sine correct so we can use sine and find the angle B so from here we can say sine B is equals to opposite side is 24 and hypotenuse is 26 correct so angle B is sine inverse of 24 over 26 correct so we can use the calculator and find this so we have sine inverse of 24 divided by 26 equals to 67.38 so we get 67.38 as the angle B, right? Now, as you know, these two angles are same. So angle C is also 67.38, correct? So angle C is also 67.38, so which is equals to angle C. Okay, let me write like this. So now we know these two angles. Once we know these two angles, we can find angle A, right? So angle A is how much? So angle A is... 180 degrees minus 2 times 67.38 correct so let's find this answer so we have 180 minus 2 times 67.38 equals to in decimals 45.24 so angle A is 45.24 so we get this angle as 45.24 correct now what we can do now knowing these angles now we know the angle a and we know opposite to angle b a is side bc which is 65 so we can find isosceles triangle sides right perfect so we will use uh, sine law to find the sides so let's apply sine law now so sine law is that length of the side we need to find so we can say AB length of the side AB over sine of angle C let me write sine of angle C is 67.38 should be equal to BC which is 65 let me write BC first over sine of angle A which is sine of 45.24 do you get the idea so now we know BC so we can find AB perfect so from sine law we can find the sides of this isosceles triangle so ab is equals to uh, bc over so we can we can say bc times sine of 67.38 divided by sine of 45.24 right so that is how we can find the side ab right so let's calculate this now so bc is what bc is 65 so let me write 65 here okay let me write 65 65 times since bc is 65 right so so we will write bc as 65 is given to us here perfect so we have sine of 67.38 divided by sine of 45.24 times 65 equals to 84.499 so we get 84.499 so that becomes the side AB do you get the idea so we got AB as 84.499 so since we know that AB is also equals to CE let me continue on this side now okay so let me write down what we found so we have found that AB is equals to 84.45 let's round this which is same as AC right so AC is also same thing 84.45 so we know these two sides since they are equal we just found it right okay so can we find the area of triangle ABC now what to do okay so now what we are going to consider is think like this we'll consider two tri two triangles let's join ap 
So if I join AP, I get two different triangles, right? We can find area of each. Since I know base and height, I know the area of this triangle. Base and height, I know the area of the other triangle. You get an idea, right? So, so what we do here is, now we find area of both the triangles and add them up, right? So we say area of triangle ABC is equals to area of triangle ABP plus area of triangle ACP. Do you understand? So we just combine these two areas to get area of triangle ABC. So that is the strategy here now. So let's find out area of triangle ABC. So triangle ABC area is what? Is equals to, now area of a triangle is half, base. Let us consider base AB first. AB is 84.45 into height of 24, into height of 24, plus area of the other triangle, which is half. Base is same, 84.45 into the height which is 36. Do you get the idea? So with this we can actually find the area of triangle, right? Let's simplify and calculate. Half of 84.45 is 42.225. That is half of this taking common and then we'll add 24 and 36. Becomes simpler, right? Well, we can use calculator. Okay, let's use calculator. Okay, so we have 42.225 times within bracket 24 plus 36, which is equal to approximately 2533.5. So we can round this to 2534. Correct? So that is the area. And since we are given these units are in centimeter, the area should be in centimeter square. Correct? So that is how you can actually find the area of this particular triangle. Now, let's actually go back and look into our solution. What we really did. Okay. So we were given an isosceles triangle. A point P was given on BC. Length of BC was 65. And from P the length of perpendiculars to AB and AC were respectively 24 and 36 centimeters. So we applied the knowledge of similar triangles and from these two small similar triangles we could find first the side X and then the angle, right? Once we found this angle, since it is isosceles triangle, we found the other two angles also. Then we applied the sine law and found the equal sides of the isosceles triangle. Once we found the two equal sides, we knew perpendicular length. We applied area of both the triangles, added them up to find the area of whole, right? That is how we solve this question. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.